So making his way towards the boxing ring is Edgaras Skrodelis of Lithuania. Heading for the blue corner, Lysula Azizi of the Fair Chance Team 1. poverty, persecution, famine, or war. That is how the Fair Chance teams have been assembled. Two Fair Chance teams in operation here. The man in blue, Lysula Azizi, is representing one of them. And there are two Fair Chance teams because there are a couple of boxers occupying the same weight class. So rather than face it, forcing them to make the invidious choice to move up or down, the fact that two fair chance teams are in existence allows them all to compete in their most natural weight division. So La Sola Azizi, in his opening bout of Belgrade 2021, he received a bye in the first preliminary round. Edgares Skirdelis of Lithuania prevailed on a unanimous point decision victory over Archios Gomsian of Georgia man who took continental bronze in the under-22 championships in Roseto earlier this summer. Well, that's a push to the canvas. You see Skirdelis competing in his third world championship appearance here. Just inconvenienced momentarily. Hard left hook fired in by Azizi, but it was caught by the right glove of his opponent. Skirdelis comes out of the corner with a hard left hook to the body of his own. Nice defense with the gloves from Azizi as he swings and a miss. Swings and misses with a big hook. Another untidy tangle as the boxers find themselves entwined once again. Firing away with that left hook is Azizi. Not really finding the range with it. The right hand which came from Skirdelis was a scoring shot as was that left jab. Very quick, bobbing and weaving in front of his man and slapping as he attempted to fire in the hook once again. As easy spoken to about punching with the incorrect inside part of the glove. So closing seconds then of the opening round.
The first round scored unanimously in favor of the Lithuanian boxer. 10-9 scorecards returned from all five scoring judges. So we move into the second round then. Laisola Azizi competing in his first global event. Boxing the Asian Continental Championships earlier this summit in Dubai for Afghanistan. But was eliminated in the first preliminary round as he was when he boxed at the 2019 event in Bangkok. Two national titles under his belt in 2018 and 2019 at 56 and 57 kilograms. As for Skirdelis, five national titles, one youth, four senior titles, two at 60 kilograms, two at 57. Oh, that's a beautiful left hook landed by the Lithuanian boxer. Drives his man backwards across the ring behind straight punches. And that eye-catching hook may have shaken up as easy a little bit because he was keen to disengage. Now his head is cleared and his sense has returned. But he's been put under pressure by volume punching from Skirdelis through this portion of the second round. Many of the shots being blocked by the gloves and forearms. But Skirdelis getting busy and keeping the man in blue at bay. Driven backwards as his right, as his chin is clipped by a right hand. But look at the distance that Azizi has got to close every time he's sent tottering backwards like that by accurate shot selection. And even if the shots are blocked, there is sufficient force on the punches to disrupt Azizi's boxing stance and drive him back beyond punching range. Right on cue, shots blocked by the gloves and forearms of Azizi. But it still sets him back, and now he's got to reset and come again each and every time, just in a bid to try and get some punches away. Skurdelis really turning the screw in this second round. Good double left hook. The first one to the body appeared to be a decent shot. The second one to the head may well have been a slap. Put an awful lot of work into the first two minutes of this round, has Skurdelis, and he increases it once again. What a combination. The right hand that concluded that straight shot salvo was eye-catching indeed, and it caught Azizi cleanly. Caused him to become disorganized. He had to go walk about across the ring. He's still in there swinging, but look how ponderous his punches have become now. They've lost all of their sharpness. He's loading up, trying to take his man out of there, but his shots are taking a circuitous route as they come around, allowing Skirdelis, who has turned lefty now, boxing out of this southpaw stance to try and confuse Azizi further. He gets through with a couple of left hands to the head between the defenses of Skirdelis. Now back as an orthodox boxer as he lands another jarring right hook. Terrific shot selection and variety being produced by Skirdelis. Brilliant second round and a nod of respect from Skirdelis in the direction of Azizi because, my goodness, that is one tough man because he was hit regularly with rock-solid punches from Skirdelis. And the man survived the round and was still in there competing. So a unanimous card return, 10-8, on the card of the judge from Wales. As we go into the third and final round, Azizi is going to need a dramatic final three minutes. Terrific work from Skirdelis, who increased his punch output and just kept the man in blue occupied. You see that flurry there was mainly blocked by the gloves. But while the gloves were blocking shots, they couldn't be fired in offensive fashion by Azizi. Dominant second round, including a right cross, which really did inconvenience Azizi. So into the third and final round then. And Lysola Azizi. Still showing plenty of commitment to the cause. 
trailing by 20 points to 18 on the cards of four judges, 20 points to 17 on the card of the judge from Wales who scored the second round 10-8 after Skirdelis really did turn up the heat on Azizi. Big swing and a miss. And again, look at that. And that is really going to deplete your energy far faster than landing on the target. Right hand to the body got through. The left arm was, the left shot was caught by the arm of Skirdelis. And remember, he put an awful lot into the second round. He may have been trying to take his man out of there. And Azizi keeps on coming. Credit to him. As Skirdelis just gives his man volume, takes some of the pop off the punches to let his hands go in fast flurrying fashion. Nice corkscrew left hand landed and then a roundhouse right from Azizi. But then order restored by that left jab first to the head and then to the body. The subsequent body jab was blocked by Azizi. Trying to corkscrew once again is Azizi, but he's off the mark and was counted. Good work to both body and head. And again, given the circumstances that saw Azizi become a part of the Fair Chance team, you have to admire this man's fighting spirit, epitomizing what it means to be a fighter. Because the whole world is aware of what is transpiring in his homeland. And here he is competing on the global stage for the very first time and the commitment that he's demonstrating is admirably, admirable indeed. Fierce fighting spirit, just clipped by a left hook a few moments ago, but he's still in there looking for the shot that can turn this contest on its head because it's going to require a turnaround of that magnitude now because Skirdelis has been in control throughout. So he's still got his wits about him to block that shot that was swung in, but his accuracy has decreased as easy because he's going in search of the finishing shot. But the man continuing to compete and scores with a right cross there. Good left hand to the body, dug in by Skirdelis. Well, this man's conditioning, toughness and commitment are commendable. Sula is easy, punching all the way through until the final belt. Don't think there's any doubt about the fact that this man will be declared the victor. Excuse me, Edgar Skirdelis will be declared the victor. But Azizi, in his world championship debut, fought right up until the very end, always going in search of the shot that would turn things around for him. He wasn't able to find it. But fierce fighting spirit demonstrated by the man representing the Fair Chance team here in Belgrade. So, there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision win for Edgada Skirdelis of Lithuania, eliminating Lysola Azizi of the Fair Chance team. And he goes into the third preliminary round, the round of 16 in the 60 kilogram lightweight tournament. He'll be facing off against the home boxer, Semis Alicic. That contest scheduled for the 31st of October in the evening session. <laughs>